the god of sorcerers, Satoru Gojo. So I don't oh, even know. God of sorcerers. Yeah. YouTube, it's your boy Bravioso. It's your boy Slim Crow. And we are fan service. And we are here to give you what is Jujutsu Kaisen about. This is a video my guy picked out. Uh, for the most part, he has not seen it. I have multiple times. And I've been trying to get my guy to get, you know, locked in on it. He's been busy with his band. Yeah. He's been busy going in, doing his thing. I've been able to uh, check it out a couple of times because there's not that many episodes yet. Yeah. But it's worth it. Yeah. So I feel you reacting to what you haven't seen yet. But like, it's like, what is it about? What's gonna yeah, motivate yeah. you to watch that? Shit? I got you. you uh, know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I checked out like the first one or two episodes. Okay. Uh, I remember it being about this one dude in the school and he eats some demon finger. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why he decided to eat it. Yeah. I still don't get it, but it made him powerful. He was powerful before. I don't know. The funny part is the nigga whose finger he ate looks like him. That's the weird thing about it. So I want to see. I need more episodes to understand. Yeah, some Jeffrey Dahmer type stuff. Eating booty nah, sandwiches. Nah, he's and... like a he like he's like a nigga that was toenail salads. Yeah, hey, look, fingernail salads, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, it, it, but it's good. When you get cursed items, they make you stronger. There's a girl you. who got like the voodoo shit where they be poking things in the dog. Doing that weird. Yeah, okay, yeah. So the girl you. got her own thing, and then it's another nigga. He can do some dope. Shit. They all got dope powers, but. The evil niggas is like that. The evil niggas is on point. All right, so now, like that's that. all I care about. You so you know me? the fight's going to be active. Okay. They're going to be right. active out there. Right, yes. We're going to see. We're going to see. All I right. can't tell you no more. No more. We're going to get right. into it. Go ahead and set it up. All right. We're going to go ahead and get into this. This is uh, what is Jujutsu Kaisen about? Going to give me a little tan four on this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, do the thing. Ready. Hey guys, this is Pineapple and welcome to our first Jujutsu Kaisen video. In this video, we'll go over the basics and the characters so you're ready to start watching the anime when it drops in a few months. JJK is a manga and weekly Shonen Jump that runs alongside other series that you may know oh, as so well. Shonen Jump? Academia, yeah, the f***ing I ain't the f***ing This series has been bubbling for a Everything long time shonen. and its fandom and success was pretty notable from an early stage and I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the content and great aesthetic of the manga. Jujutsu Kaisen is about a group of sorcerers, also known as shamans, who are able to use a power known as Cursed Energy. Okay. Cursed Energy itself is created by the negative emotions that come from human beings. Everyone's collective conscious right. and subconscious negative feelings mm. fuel this energy but that cursed energy um, also can manifest itself so i remember them at the beginning them two they like picked two. yeah magami and uh forgot the full name and i like i watched this hell of time i can't remember this nigga name bro so homeboy they the curse item was buried in the back of the school right uh not really it, it was, was on school the, grounds like, it was on school grounds. it was on school grounds and they pulled up to see what it was about. No, nah, some some kids had it in their possession. He was looking for it. Oh, he's I already see. a part of the academy. Like he's already part of the jujutsu. Um, like uh, uh, their 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 setup. Okay. Magami is already a part of it. His name starts with an I. I cannot remember it right now. They'll say it, but he um, he winds up getting the finger because he was in a. He was in a group with these a few people, right? He didn't know that they had it, but he knew that they had found something. Then he went to the school to go stop them and the getting ate on because they they opened up the finger and they was getting ate and sucked on this. They was yeah, bro. I know it's it sounds weird. It uh, sounds weird, but yeah, it was some freaky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they was some freaky. freaky. Yeah, <laughs> nigga eat fingers. And yeah, freaky. Mother yeah. curse energy. We gonna see where this goes. Hey, going. shirt line coming out. They on some freaky shit. <laughs> That's facts, though. Who's going to buy a shirt if it's saying they on some freaky hey. Leave it in the comments. We'll we'll make it if y'all want it. It's that fan service. Fan service. Fan service. All right, we're going to get back into this. ...and to powerful cursed spirits. 
these life forms are powerful, and since they're literally made yeah. of cursed energy, they can obviously use it to do all sorts He's of things. He's the main well. battle. Right Sorcerers oh, harness this cursed energy to do all of them, enhancing like their that, powers. Yeah. I remember him. To allowing yeah. them to walk in the water. Oh, Kakashi okay. looking nervous. Cursed energy like is used it. to fuel a shaman's techniques. You see, techniques are something you need to each character. Everyone's is different, but the techniques are all fueled by cursed energy, so everyone has to learn how to better mold and to enhance their techniques even further and grow. That growth is absolutely necessary when you start to see some of the dangers that are out there and how no holds barred Jujutsu oh, Kaisen's like world is. Sean O'Malley. If you make a mistake, uh, your opponent uh, is going to take advantage of it. The battles character. in this series oh, are yeah. great. <laughs> nah, and as a big fan of really interesting <laughs> paneling, I've always had so much fun so reading and watching characters cutting through panels of their actions don't and just fanboying over how everything in the manga flows so well on the page. Hey, listen, listen don't listen to what they tell you. Pineapples on pizza. All attend the Tokyo Metropolitan Curse Otherwise known. Right. Here they learn to harness their powers even better by training with their peers, but they're also sent into the like stomach acid. Pineapples with anchovies. Vibes, and Breath the power set goes deeper than we'll probably cover in this video. But now that we've covered the very basics of what the series is about and what the setting is, let's start talking about some of the characters that you'll be getting to know soon. Oh. First off, we've got Megami Fushiguro. Megami, Megami is a young man of black hair and wears a Jujutsu High uniform, which is a dark navy blue jacket and pants that he pairs of simple brown shoes. He seems really disinterested and detached, but he's a good person at heart. Megami is a grade two sorcerer. No, look like a good person. The translation in the anime goes with, yes. but that means that he's powerful. Oh boy, look like he's strong. Oh boy, look like he, he's he's oh boy, look like went through the worst breakup of his so life. Being at this level is really his sister, impressive. Sick. Megami's technique is called Makes the sense. Ten Shadows technique, and this technique Ten allows him to seven. use his curse energy to create loyal Shikigami or spirits out of shadows. Mm -hmm. His control okay. over shadows though goes even deeper than just him being able to create creatures out of them because he, he can also store things within the shadows like weapons, making him an extremely capable fighter who can handle himself, especially because he's never really alone. When the series starts, we'll pick up on a mission that Megami's on to retrieve something so he's got very, like very a contract very powerful. Him. However, of course, Somewhere. things go wrong. This is going to lead to him meeting our main character and one of the realest characters in Jump right now and maybe of all time, Yuji Itadori. Completely stupid and constantly happening shown a protagonist that we're constantly bombarded with. Yuji's no dummy, and he can usually be seen wearing a red hoodie that he wears under his Jujutsu High uniform with the hood mm, hoodie over That's a shoulders. turtleneck, my name. He matches the hoodie nah, with shoes, sneakers, and he has it. light auburn hair. <laughs> it's a on turtleneck. Look at that jump. Look at the hair, buttons up top. Like one on the sides. <laughs> Yuji has style, class, elegance, and drip. And he's also a really relatable and funny guy. He works hard, is never too good to be helpful out, to a friend, and he genuinely wishes the best for everyone. He starts off he like many years dealing with a recent loss and taking what he can from it to grow. When Megami approaches him, they have to retrieve a cursed object together since Yuji knows where it is, and the, the events that follow yeah. lead to Yuji joining Jujutsu High as a first year. Now, I won't get into Yuji's powers because that's a little further off, but just know that Yuji does indeed serve hands, and he can fight at high speed <laughs> <laughs> Why they be serving the man? He said he does in fact serve hands. <laughs> Why they be with the functions? Situation. Let's talk about the third first year student at Jujutsu High, who's also part of a lovely group here, and that of course would be Nobara Kugisaki. Nobara yeah, is a young right. woman from the countryside who travels soccer. four hours by train to become yeah. a Jujutsu High Terrible. sorcerer. She has eyes and short orange hair, which kind of looks like the Karen cut, but definitely I still don't like soccer. around her because if you even do, in you get a nail. Even you know, with that diamond on much her, like her two other first year peers, Nobara is a little she off. Has Dead. She wears the skirt uh, version uh, of the Jujutsu High uniform, match the <laughs> stock shoes. She, she also she, usually she, uh, carries around a hammer, which is used for her technique. She comes off as a little judgmental at first, but she instantly hits it off with Yuji especially and Megami, like and Becky. her really funny segments with Yuji especially are always a lot of fun. Nobara is new to the city life and she has a lot to learn, but that goes both ways because the city folk have a lot to learn from her as well, and she definitely doesn't mind knocking some sense into someone's head if she has to, so you don't want to get on her bad side. Nobara's curse technique is based on voodoo-like lore. Of course, she can clobber you with the hammer that she carries to do damage, but she also carries an arsenal of nails in her pockets and probably under her sleeves that she can smack up the hammer to fire off like projectiles. Mm -hmm. oh, that's that, she can watch out for her to nail her enemies in place for making mm -hmm. slick comments and for Prepare to stand another no new in this upcoming anime no, Finally, before we get to the Emperor of Curses, we should probably discuss the god of sorcerers, Satoru Gojo. Sato. I don't oh, even know. God of sorcerers. Yeah, yeah. Gojo. you like that, bro. I'm sure I could do a whole video series just about this character, and I probably will get to narrating his backstory and my story style eventually, especially if you guys tell me that that's something that you'd like. Gojo is 
he's just a different breed, you know? Like, he's just different. My nigga Bill's Satoru different. Satoru Gojo is a teacher yeah, like, in Jujutsu High, and he takes a something. personal interest yeah, in Yuji Megami cool. and Nobu. He, him, he's a young man him in Duncan, like him Jones, hair and a black blind be the nigga right? South, South, South Mountain is Kimberly. He, of course, wears a Jujutsu High uniform and matches the uniform with a pair of nice black shoes. This guy doesn't necessarily look like the most dangerous person in the world, but that's exactly what he is. His power is absolute, and without getting too deep into what he can do and spoiling it, just know that he's pretty much untouchable, and yeah. when he touches ground, every cursed spirit nearby shakes in fear. Gojo wants Yuji and his peers to grow, and believes some of them can even reach his level someday. That's hard to imagine when you know the totality of what this guy can do after your 10 max of B2 classes online, but I digress. Mm -hmm. As blind as Gojo may seem at first glance, he definitely sees things in his own way yes. and has his own unique perspective on the situation that we're found in, in Jujutsu Kaisen's plot. He's going to be a key figure to pay attention to, and I can honestly say that he's one of my favorite senseis in all of Jump, while also probably being able to defeat most of those senseis as well. So those are our four main characters, but we'll also be introduced to other Jujutsu High students, like Maki's Zenin, who comes from a line of elite sorcerers and is a monster without a any bear? curse power of her own, Pants. Toge Inomaki, okay. who can use his own words as a curse technique and He's has like a really funny way of speaking, and too. Panda, who is not a panda, but how do you figure <laughs> that one out on your own? Yeah, like I said, you all these characters hunt down curses and collect curse objects you just look like out of the wrong hands. They all got different models. Wrong hands. And what like, oh boy, that was someone here. That I've talked he about say so much food. in the beginning of the video. Well, because if he speaks words, the most important curse spirit that we can talk about his is voice the king of curses. And it, the man it of the rocks title, you like, oh, Sakuna. Shoot. Yeah, a it's like a shockwave. Ago, Sakuna was a man who constantly did battle with shamans in the Golden Age. This man powered through the shamans at their most powerful, but their battles against them also drove to make the shamans themselves more powerful. Like as well. That's what I thought. The because they life. look just alike. Yeah. Just like to turns, it just just so happened to eat this full figure, but they look just like. amount of power and lore behind this legendary. It don't make sense. His body it don't make sense. Became a curse. Like object, he drew to and there was nothing that could be done to destroy it, so it had to be broken apart and separated. Sakuna is a human-like curse with markings all over his body, including ones in his forehead, nose, yeah, cheeks, exactly and like chin. Him. And he also has bushy but spiky light auburn brown hair. This man has an extra pair of eyes placed high on his cheeks next to his normal eyes, and he also has an extra pair of arms and views, which is incredibly dangerous I when you realize how much he hit it as one of his fingers. In fact, Sakuna's power is made of fingers because his fingers are artifacts that are hunted by Jujutsu sorcerers and cursed spirits alike. While the shamans are trying to get the fingers. He ate that. Find a way to Ooh, no door. sauce, no hot sauce, sauce, no barbecue, nothing. Yeah, you trying to boil, boil it? Nah, you trying to cook it? Hey, it looks boiled. Fingers is a man known as Ghetto. Get ghetto is a young rice. man of long hair ghetto. who has markings across his forehead. To the Ghetto, you and go. The ghetto. I would they say on this Friday. Back to the Ghetto, you go. Inspired by Zen Buddhist, if you have cursed energy and you can see cursed spirits, you'd probably see him walking around with about three or so that he's friendly with. Him and these cursed spirits have a dark plan for sucking his fingers, and in a video soon. I'll go more into this character's past as we cover the Jujutsu Kaisen prequel manga, which features this guy in a big way before he had these dark plans on his brain. I really so those are him the basic concepts like that, and things yeah. that you should know about Jujutsu be Kaisen honest. before the anime starts in the fall season, which normally begins in October. And the anime already started. Well, well, season two is coming then. soon, right? I don't know. I think that's what well right now. Yeah. Fan those are the basic concepts and things that you should know about Jujutsu Kaisen before the anime starts in the fall season, which normally begins in October, but we've got more to talk about before then. The series is very well uh. loved within its fandom, and I can easily see it growing to become massively popular since it has a lot of things that I think make it really accessible so to fans of anime that have a bit of a cool factor. Yep. But it also has much deeper video. aspects for so. those that are looking for more out of the combat and plot that they get in their manga. There are some genuinely heartbreaking reveals, and so much has happened over Jujutsu Kaisen's short run when you consider that the manga only has 115 chapters. Jump has a number of fresh new anime mm -hmm. on the way, and while so it's the unlikely for done. any series to see the insane no, phenomenal read support it. that oh. Kimetsu no Yaiba has gotten, uh, I yeah, I know you. New series like Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm over here like Uncle Ruckus. Taking the reins yeah, as the new I ain't going manga on. of Jump's oh. magazine, and now seemingly Jump anime as well. Subscribe to this channel to keep up with more Jujutsu Kaisen content on top of everything else that I do, and let me know what you specifically want to see in the comment section below. Let's go down. Shout out Vocal Pineapple. Yeah, for real. Shout out you, Vocal Pineapple. You already yeah. know. Y'all gonna show him some love too. Uh so what you think about Jujutsu Kaisen, my brother? Yo, I'm messing with it, man. Uh judging off the first two episodes that I've seen, yeah. um, I really dig it. 
uh, the fights were on another level. Mm-hmm. They on some Dragon Ball, you feel me, Naruto type animation, Demon Slayer type it stuff. It gets harder. It gets it, it gets better, but yeah, yeah. yeah. You it, know, I like that. You feel me? The acrobats, the dope animation. So, um, I mean, as far as the Jutsu Kaisen goes, I mean that's top ten to me. Uh, but it just doesn't have it. Just doesn't have enough episodes. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Um, that's facts. Another one, Tower of God. Top ten could be is what I'm saying. Now I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it could be. It's just not enough episodes because we're not getting no storylines. We're not getting nothing in the in, in depth like you would with Naruto, like you would with um Dragon Ball, you would with um uh One Piece. Yeah. That's why you got thousands of episodes. Or you got so, a thousand or hundreds, let's just say hundreds to thousand a thousand episodes and it's like you know everybody, you know all these characters, you see uh time skips. You go with these people. Yeah. I'd rather watch that than this. They call it reality TV. That's fact. But it's 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 all fake. So if I'm watching some fake, I'm gonna watch something that got some genuine like some genuine like morals behind it. Yeah. Friendship, family. Yep. You know what I mean? Like 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 you know, stand up for yourself. Don't let nobody bully you or pick on your homies or nothing. I mean, I mean, and to be honest with you, some of it is there's a little cold, like Dragon Ball. Yeah, for they sure. They be jumping people. Yeah, for sure. There's nothing. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> from Dragon it's Ball. But you know, also like the never give up type aspect. As far as you know, if you you you're a fighter, yeah, uh, you play sports or something like mm-hmm. that. I but guarantee just, it, you, it just in life, just in life in general. Too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, I guarantee you, we've been out. All of us have been out there. Mm-hmm. You know, we seen the Saiyans training. We're gonna be like, yeah, I'm training like a Super Saiyan. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So those uh. Those certain scenes in Dragon Ball really stick out to me. They play 100%. in my head, especially when I'm in the gym hitting the heavy bag, man. Hundred percent. I be feeling man. myself. I be feeling like Vegeta, Goku, everybody. Shoot. But I like to uh uh I like to compare it just to, you know, um my regular like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like I work hard, you feel me, to get where I'm trying to go. That's true. You know what I mean? And Very I help true. everybody around me, too, to make everybody around me hard. And, and, and they be able to be in their place, you know what I mean? Like, in life. Yeah. Like, here, 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 here. I got, you know, a few homies, few family members, you know, that that, that I got relationships with. I just want to help, you know what I mean? And I want to be in a great place. You know what I mean? So, in, in order to be able to do that, I have to put in a, that work. I got to be like Goku. Yep. Constantly training. Yep. Cause your mind's gotta develop. You gotta de- like you don't just all of a sudden jump, jump. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna do this. We both know how hard it is to get things going, or even getting the right mindset. Yeah. Don't nice. do no drugs. You feel me? Put that to the side. Don't drink. Put that to the side. Like save your money up and put it towards. You feel me? A mixer. Yep. Put it towards some headphones, a mic. You feel me? A ring light, a camera. Yep. And get up on here and do it like us. For sure. For so sure. as we always say. This is a service for our fans. We are here uh, again with fan service. Do you have any last words for them? Um, besides the fact that we do this for y'all, um, you know, the reason why we do this YouTube thing is we're constantly watching YouTube videos um, and we want to be able to interact with y'all a little bit more. So we're going to be posting a lot of content coming soon, but I'm so excited to be able to do this junk. Um, and yeah, we just got everything going for y'all. Uh, you got anything else you want to say, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, y'all already know y'all can follow me, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. Y'all can follow me at uh, I am Bravioso on Instagram, um, Twitter. Uh, you can search me up on YouTube, Bravioso B R A V I O S O. Album dropping early release is gonna be February 9th, twenty twenty three, and it's gonna have a, a lot of bangers. It's going to be a $1,000 package. It's going to come with some fire, fire items. I know y'all going to love and like custom items that no one else will have. It's going to be very limited. You know, it'll be coming out soon. Um, you can check my Instagram for uh, updates outside of that. As I said, at I am Bravioso. And, um, yeah, we are fan service. And y'all know out. what it is. And we out. Got it up.